We're so grateful that all of you could join us today. You may have noticed that we have a professional photographer and a videographer here today. So what that means is if you would please put away all your cell phones, video recorders, tablets, etc. We'd like to have an unplugged ceremony tonight. I promise you that you will all have access to the professional photos and video after tonight, okay? Now, once Joshua and Nicole are here at the altar, I will give you all the opportunity to take out your phones and your cameras and snap that one picture that you just have to have, okay? And then I will politely ask you to please stow away everything for the remainder of the ceremony. That includes once I pronounce them husband and wife and they are walking out of here, please refrain from taking out all cameras, cell phones, tablets, etc. We'll have plenty of time to take pictures at the reception, okay? <coughs> How you guys feeling? You excited to be here tonight? Yeah. All right. Please stand for the bride. Who gives this woman to be married to this man today? We do. We do. Good. You guys can take your place. Stand at like a 45 degree. There you go, perfect. Family and friends, welcome to this day of celebration. It's great to have all of you here today to witness the union of Joshua and Nicole as husband and wife before God. Together, we will share in the joys of their wedding, both with the outward celebration of this occasion and with the internal appreciation for the love that surrounds us here today. At this time, as promised, if you would, you're able to take out your phones, your cameras, and I'm gonna let them come together right here and you can grab that one photo that you would like to have for yourself. Everybody good? All right. You guys ready? You all may be seated. Family and friends, we'd like to start with a prayer before we begin, so I do ask if it is within your faith, if you would please bow your head and join us at this time. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for this beautiful day. You have fulfilled the desire of Joshua and Nicole's hearts to be together in this life. We pray that your blessing will always rest upon Joshua and Nicole's home that your joy, peace, and contentment would dwell within them as they live together in unity and all that enter their home may experience the strength of your love. Father, help them to follow and serve you with an ever-growing commitment because of their union. Guide them into greater love and sacrifice as they care for each other's needs, knowing that you also will care for them. May their devotion in marriage be a radiant reflection of your love for them. In the name of Jesus, our Savior, we pray, amen. Get you guys to come here in front and join hands together. Got it? Joshua and Nicole, you two have the opportunity to build an amazing life together. You are blessed to share this experience with the loved ones gathered here today to support you as you embark on this journey together. You guys met on the ball field as teammates, now to be soulmates. By the way, Nicole and Joshua love the Houston Astros. They love going to home games. They love spending time with the boys and they love spending time with both sides of the families. May you all remember and cherish this ceremony for on this day with love, we will forever bind Joshua and Nicole together. Marriage is more than a simple exchange of rings and combining of material assets. Rather, it is an incredibly powerful shared commitment. While today I will legally 
bind you two together. The truth, the truly important bonds we form today are largely invisible to the world, existing primarily in the unfilled corners of your hearts. Marriage is one of life's greatest gifts and it is a blessing to make these promises with your soulmate. As you hold on to one another, you will find deeper levels of joy, happiness, and peace together. Your marriage is the foundation upon which you will build the rest of your lives and despite any adversity, will always be there to sustain you. Joshua and Nicole, take a moment to sense the tremendous amount of love radiating throughout this space. As you stand here today before God, before those gathered here in your honor and before one another, take note that after you speak your vows today, your lives will never be the same. Marriage, regardless of any preconceived notions you might have, has the capacity to deepen and challenge and strengthen you and your relationship in ways you never thought possible. The joy you'll find as you pursue your shared lives will fuel you to face head on the challenges you'll encounter on this earth. On your journeys together, keep your spouse in the space of highest priority in your heart. Learn to work together, to laugh together, and to love together. Don't get caught up in worldly things that will draw you apart. Instead, focus on your shared devotion and turn inward. As your relationship strengthens, you will find that you come to share the remarkable love, a love that is both abundantly given and freely accepted. Never stop dating each other. Always hold hands, both at home and in public. Kiss each other frequently and never stop telling each other how much you love one another. As we celebrate this bond of unity today under the eyes of God, it is important that we keep in mind, while this is certainly an occasion of tremendous joy, the promises we witness here today are serious and life-altering commitments. As Jesus said, have you not read that he who made them at the beginning made them male and female? He also taught, for this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So then they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man separate. <coughs> Joshua and Nicole, I would now invite you to publicly speak your commitment to each other. And Joshua, we will start with you. <clears throat> Nicole, sweetheart. From the moment I saw you on the ball field, <clears throat> I knew I had to figure out who this beautiful girl was. It wasn't but shortly after that I knew I loved you, and it was clear to me that I found someone that enjoyed baseball just as much as I did. <clears throat> Whether it's watching the game at home or at Minute Maid, every game was special to me. It didn't matter if we had nosebleed seeds or front row behind home plate, I had the best seat with you next to me. <clears throat> Digging in your bag of peanuts. <laughs> you bring love and happiness everywhere you are, and the way you carry yourself, not as a, as a person, but also as a mother. To your two amazing kiddos, Ethan and Nico, it draws me even more to you. Not only do you make life full of love, but you make me feel worthy. And I couldn't have asked for a better team to travel life with than you and the boys. I vow to protect you and the boys with all of me. To always be comforting and patient. Every ounce of my life will forever be bounded to you and the boys. No matter if life is raining on us or shining, my devotion to you and making sure that we as a family are protected. My feet are planted Forever deep in our love, I vow to never forsake you, but to fill your heart with happiness. My life is dedicated to you. I promise to shower you with love and tenderness an angel like you deserves. My vows do not stop at you, but continue to the boys, for I am yours as I am theirs. No matter the time or place, I shall be there for them. I promise to fight for you, pursue you, and always dream with you. I vow to walk beside you through life, no matter what it may bring us. As your husband, these are my forever vows to you. I love you. 
Great, Nicole, your turn. <clears throat> Joshua, before our closest friends and family that have been our biggest support through our journey together, I stand here before you and everyone who express the love and loyalty I have for you. Our story is no conventional one, nor one that anyone could have predicted. Your love has brought me great happiness. I admire, you, I admire so many qualities about you, even the stubborn ones. I love and appreciate your vulnerable side, especially when you aren't embarrassed to show remorse, the loving and selfless part of you that will go on midnight runs with the boys. <coughs> but above all, I applaud you for your strength and growth you've shown in life's big and unforeseen challenges. Not only within yourself, but all of the great you've done with work and as a family man, a partner and a best friend. I promise that I'll not only follow your lead, but help guide you when you feel lost, strengthen you when you feel weak, and remind you that our faith in God will always frame who we are, our existence, our values, and everything good and bad, happy and sad. We've worked so hard to be standing here today. I want you to know how much I truly adore you and I can't wait to see what God has planned for our future. Joshua and Nicole, if you would please join hands again. I will now read you both your declaration of intent and if you would please respond with I do once I'm finished. Joshua, do you take Nicole to live together in the union of marriage, to take her as your best friend and partner in life, to honor, cherish, and love her from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do you part? I do. Nicole, do you take Joshua to live together in the union of marriage, to take him as your best friend and partner in life, to honor, cherish, and love him from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do you part? I do. If I may have the rings. Thank you. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask that you bless these rings here tonight, that you let Nicole and Joshua wear them and constantly be a reminder of their love for each other. The wedding ring's circular shape reflects the unending power of love, a force with no beginning and no end. You should wear these rings proudly and let them remind you each day of your commitment to one another. Joshua, if you would take this ring and place it on Nicole's ring finger up to her knuckle and repeat after me. I, Joshua, give you Nicole this ring. I, Joshua, give you Nicole this ring. As a symbol of my never ending love. As a symbol of my never ending love. As I place it on your finger. As I place it on your finger. I commit the whole of my heart and soul to you. I commit the whole of my heart and soul to you. I promise to cherish you for the rest of my days. I promise to cherish you for the rest of my days. I give you all that I am and accept all that you are. I give you all that I am and accept all that you are. You may now place the ring on her finger entirely. Nicole, if you would do the same and place this ring on Joshua's finger up to his knuckle and repeat after me. I, Nicole, give you Joshua. I, Nicole, give you Joshua. This ring as a symbol of my never ending love. This ring as a symbol of my never ending love. As I place it on your finger. As I place it on your finger. I commit the whole of my heart and soul to you. I commit the whole of my heart and soul to you. I promise to cherish you for the rest of my days. I promise to cherish you for the rest of my days. I give you all that I am and accept all that you are. I give you all that I am and accept all that you are. You may now place the ring on his finger entirely. <laughs> if 
family and friends, by the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church and by the great state of Texas. I am pleased to pronounce that Joshua and Nicole are husband and wife, sealed today together, both in law and love. Joshua, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Martinez. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there's going to be plenty of photo opportunities now, right? So you can take out your phones, shoot as many pictures as you like. We'd like to go ahead and begin the reception portion of this. So thank y'all so much. If y'all could give them one more round of applause, right? 